everybody. Welcome to Kermit and Friends. I am Elisa. This is Kermit. As you probably noticed, I'm in a different uh, place than I usually am. I am in my new apartment that me and Benji moved into. I don't know if you could tell uh, that it's new. Oh no, there's an echo. Are you kidding? Because there's very high ceilings here. Hmm. Hmm. It is very big and echoey here. Oh no. Is it really bad echo? Shoot. Shoot. What do I do about that? Does anybody have an idea? Benji, I think our walls are too high. Did I mention this was Kermit? Um, hmm. No, not bad. Sounds horrible. Show is ruined. The echo is pretty bad. Let's see the view. Yes, bad echo, but very low volume. Hmm. Blanket on the floor. Echo. Bad echo. Echo. Oh, no. Once you have furniture, echo would go away. Robin says that. Benji gets soundproofing. Turn the sound up. Okay, I'll turn the sound up. Let me see if that works. Yeti microphone sound up. Okay, is it better now? I turned the microphone up. Um, my dog's name is Kermit. How is it now? Okay, it sounds fine. Thank you, Rainbow. I'm actually kind of wondering who this person Rainbow is. Rain. Oh, oh, it's Benji. Thanks, Benji. Oh, is that going to be better now? Okay, Benji just put a blanket on the floor. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. See, I just moved all night last night and all day today. So I kind of like don't know what I'm doing right now. I just felt very nervous because this is what happened. So when I was uh, putting in the internet here, turns out you have to like enable ports and do all this like complicated stuff. So I, I was on the phone with like five different people today, like five different people talking to them about, you know, uh, my internet because I couldn't get this to even work. So, okay, so I need to furnish the place. Okay, so how do I do that? So I need, how much furniture do you need to, you know, make this work? Yes, it was Time Warner, but they, it was really bad. It was really, really bad. Like, they, they were not good. Nobody knew what I was talking about. No one. And uh, it was just very hard to talk to them. I was very frustrated. It was a very frustrating conversation. All the conversations I've had with everyone from Time Warner today were really, uh, I was upset. I was really upset and I yelled at poor Benji when it wasn't his fault at all. It had nothing to do with him. And I yelled at him because he was just so frustrating. I was frustrated all day. So to explain about my apartment, it's very high ceilings. I don't even know how high they are, but it's so, so high. Like they, they're, it's a huge, it's a huge apartment. There's, Benji's in another room right now. I've never had an apartment with another room with a door closed. It was, I'm just getting used to it, okay? So it'll be perfect by tomorrow. I just have to figure out how much furniture I need. Um, let's see. Okay, so all right, it sounds like I'm in a cave. Benji, can you confirm if I'm in a cave, if it sounds like I'm in a cave or not? Benji, can you just say one one thing to me? Should we change rooms? Benji, just respond, please. I, it doesn't sound horrible to me. I think it sounds okay. I don't know. If, I mean, you could re-listen to it and start again, but... How does it sound to you when I'm talking? You sound good, but are those ceilings lower in your room? I don't, I don't think so. Hmm. Stu just said it's not horrible. I trust him. Okay, so does Stu have any idea of what I should do to make it better? Like, what can I do? Benji sounds great. They said you sound great. Are, is it different in that room, Benji? Well, maybe because the, uh, the, the bed's in here. Wow, Chad's saying it's a bad echo. What do I do? What is the thing that I could do to fix that? Hmm. Ask him how it sounds in here. No, it sounds great in there. I'm listening to you right now. It sounds really good. But, but, but get someone's opinion that's saying it sounds bad where you are if it sounds okay in here. Because to me, you Should I go in my closet? Should I go in my closet? That would be... I mean, you're going to be hot, but that would probably be... Look at the air behind you. Put a wall behind you. Move over. What does that mean? What Maybe switching that? rooms. Should I switch rooms? Shoot, um, that's going to take so long. Wait, what, if there's a wall behind me, it's better? I, it must be probably less echo, like the smaller room and everything. Hmm. Like, that's why people do it from bathrooms sometimes. What else could I do? I don't want to switch rooms because I have my whole lighting set up in here. 
Could you go in the refrigerator? Because that has lights in it too. The only person that says it's not bad is, is uh, Rainbow. But I feel like he just says good things about everything because he's a rainbow. <laughs> I don't know. You could try it from here for a second, you know? I know, but then I have to move everything. I have to move no, every single thing. Just try it sound-wise, and then if that works, I'll move the lights for you. Oh, sound-wise, it's good. Hmm. Yeah, but I think you should come do it with your thing sound-wise from here. If it's good, then... Is my wire, is my wire going to... I know what I'm going to do. All right, can you take over for like 10 minutes, Benji? Sure. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, you talk to... I'm going to put somebody on with you, Ken. I'm going to put Ken on with you. Ken, do you mind talking to Benji for like 10 minutes about Sharknado? Can you interview him about Sharknado because that came out yesterday? Ken? Oh, oops, sorry, I have Ken on mute. Do you, um, Ken, do you mind doing that? I don't mind. Okay, I'll watch right. it twice. <laughs> hey, Benji. I think Benji ran off. Hey, Ken. Hey, Benji. How's it going? All right. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you sound great. So did you did you end up uh, watching Sharknado? I watched it twice. It come on back to back on sci-fi. Oh, you watched it twice? Might have. Yeah, it might have come on three times. So I don't know. Three times. You might have seen me for 12 seconds total. Yeah. But I saw you. It was great. Thanks. What, oh. what part did you see? <laughs> Uh, the whole movie. I saw. Uh, no, no, no. no. I, think, my, I want you to analyze my part. It was so short, Benji. How am I supposed to analyze it? Well, you know, like uh, a lot of momentous occasions only take a few seconds, and you know, they, but talk about them throughout the time. Like, you know, how long yeah. was? Uh, I mean, this is a horrible example, but how long did the atomic bomb blast last? You know, that was probably only a few seconds, and. But it's something we always yeah. talk about. Oh, you're right about that. But, uh, I saw you. <laughs> well, what did you say? Give, give me your analysis of it. Uh, I really don't know, Benji. I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> what was your How maybe My favorite part of the whole movie? No, of my scene. I like seeing you get eaten. Oh, did I get eaten? I think you did. At least I thought the person I saw you got eaten. I don't think. I don't think that was me. Wait, what? Do well, you it was kind of confusing. In the beginning of the movie, everybody was running. Did you Did you get away? Wait, what do you think you saw me do? I could have swore I saw you get eaten in a crowd of people. You're gonna have to. Right leave. in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> when everybody was in that room, I could have swore it was you. You're going to have to watch it again. That wasn't me. Well, what happened to you then, Benji? I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it yet. I think I got run over by Ian's earring. In a car? <laughs> no, like by foot. He was running, and he just run, ran past me, and I'm screaming, and then I say, like, I was in the belly of the beast. I saw you running, and then I don't think I everybody was running. Well, the, the part that I thought I saw you in was in a room full of people, and everybody took off running. That that wasn't me. Oh, uh, I was like in front. Well, of I need to. I, I was in front. I of need to watch it again. Is it coming? When's it come back on? Oh, I think it would play probably like every day. Like, yeah. like, like on sci fi. Everybody's saying I'm an idiot in chat. That, <laughs> I, I appreciate Maybe you saw something, like maybe I was in another scene. I don't know. I don't know what parts of me they used or not. I missed it completely. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, Elise and I were at the uh, premiere party for it, and we were. 
like looking around and uh, the movie started and we were, we thought, okay, we, we, and then we were real tired and we kept waiting for my scene to come on. And then uh, yeah. we looked on Twitter and all these people were saying like uh, that they saw my scene. And then we found out it was at the beginning of the movie. I need to watch it again. I watched it twice and thought I saw you both times get eaten. Any any uh any dating updates with you? Well, I've narrowed it down to one girl that I'm really working on. I'm talking to two, but there's one I'm really interested in. Her name's April. She's a school teacher. Uh, she lives about 20 miles from me, and uh, we're planning on going out uh, to the lake. She's a photographer, and I've got a nice camera and everything. We're going to go out and take pictures. But, you know, we're kind of moving slow because that's what she wants to do. She wants to get to know me before she goes out in the woods with me. <laughs> I guess she's afraid, you know. She just wants to get to know me a little better before we go do it. What what made her stand uh, out from the other one, woman? Uh... She's just really nice. The other woman is kind of rednecky, and she lives she lives like three miles from me. So, but she she uh she hangs out in bars, and I'm really not interested in that. This other girl is a school teacher, like I said. She she uh works at a swimming pool place during the summer, and uh she's just really nice. I mean, I've been talking to her, like, non-stop on this app called Kick. We moved from, uh, she had a membership on OkCupid that didn't allow her to post a lot of messages. She don't have the paid version of it like I do. So we moved to this thing called Kick. It's a free app, and it's just a messenger app is all it is. And we talked. Why did you use Kick and not just text messaging? Well, I guess she she didn't want to give me her phone number. I guess. Uh. You know, I guess she's checking me out to make sure I'm not some kind of freak. But I'm a freak, so she needs to look out. How, how are you a freak? <laughs> I'm just. With my brain damage and everything, and I'm kind of half crazy from it. I mean, <laughs> I could tell you some stories that probably blow your mind, dude. <laughs> blow, blow. About you, you really want me to tell you, man? Yeah. Uh, well, I've probably been in the hospital like thirty different times uh, with psychiatric problems. And uh, I was actually, Vanderbilt Psychiatric Hospital actually banned me from going there because I went through two walls one night with five different cops. Five cops jumped on me and I run through two walls there. Each wall was like two sheets of uh, drywall. You they banned me from that hospital. I ran right through it. They wouldn't give me the medicine that I wanted and uh, I kind of... Went off, they uh, sprayed me with pepper spray and tried to jump on me and I dove to the wall and I went through the first wall and they had to come around through the door and then I went through another wall. Was it, did you just leave, run right through it? Did you, you know, like in cartoons, did you leave like an outline of yourself? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and when after that, they handcuffed me and everything and threw me in an isolation room and when I come out some dumbass had written ouch right beside that picture you know that outline of me going through the wall and uh it broke a couple ribs but you know I don't know if that happened when I went through the wall or when the cops jumped on me what were you thinking when you ran through the wall I was just uh, really angry, and uh, I was trying to get away from the cops. They had sprayed me with that pepper spray, and when they do that to a crazy person, it makes them have, like, well, I don't want to say the R word, but it makes you have super strength. 
it don't stop you at all. It's like throwing gasoline on a fire. Like an Incredible Hulk kind of thing, because you just get angry. Yeah, it's that kind of anger. I literally surprised myself, and uh, I. But you know, like I say, I've been in the hospital, the mental hospital, probably about thirty times. But why did the cops pick you up in the first place to take you to the hospital? Well, I always checked in myself. I never, uh, I never got arrested or anything and thrown in the hospital. I always went in on my own. You know, I would get to where I was having problems, and they they had me on tons of medication. That's what made all my teeth fall out was all the psychiatric medicine and the seizure medicine, and uh. I, w I would get off in my medicine. I would run out of and get real crazy and so so you were so I would you were debating about whether or not to you know you, you said you used to like to tell women right away all these yeah. things just to get it out of the way. Yeah, I, what, what'd you I hadn't mentioned one one word about it to her. You haven't. None of no. Not, I ain't even told her I was on social security so. Did she ask you what you do for a living, or? No, I mean I I told her you know that I do that furniture thing on the side where I buy furniture out of the Goodwill and I bring it home and restore it, fix it up, and I got a little flea market booth that I sell it out of. But last month I only made seven, I only cleared seventy nine dollars. I sold a lot of furniture, but by the time I paid my booth rental and uh, paid the fifteen percent to the guy that owns the, the big building that it's in. You got to pay him fifteen percent because he he stays there and watches your stuff and sells it. He brings it up on the cash register. You don't have to be there. So uh, after I paid him and you know counted up what I spent on furniture, I cleared seventy nine dollars last month. How how do you that sounds so tough. Like, how do you? So, seventy nine dollars was your total income for the month? No, I get six hundred from Social Security from my disability. So I live on six hundred seventy nine dollars a month. And like, what expenses do you have? Well, I got all this damn cable and internet and lights and water and. Let's see. Uh, pretty much all my medicines and everything are covered through uh, my insurance. I do pay two hundred and seventy-five dollars a month for my insurance that comes out of my Wait, check I'm before. I want to add everything up. I just oh. want to see how this works. Um, yeah, that's tough. It's rough, man. Hold on, I want to find my calculator. It is tough. I'm looking for the calculator on the. I, okay. Where's the calculator? The insurance is what costs so much. That really hurts me. But, hey uh, guys. Hey. Oh, I see your clothes back there. Cool. <laughs> one second, Ken. Hold on, one second. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Okay, I'm very sorry, everybody. I hope it's better now. Um, I'm in my closet, in my new walk-in closet that I really like. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm sorry about before. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, Benji interviewing Ken. There's a lot of people that also want to come on right now, and I'm going to put them everybody back. Let me just put Kelly on first. I feel like so stupid right now that I didn't check. I didn't check how it would sound. I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe you. You guys have no idea what I just went through. No idea. I'm in my closet. I'm in my closet. I, I moved like all my lights. If you guys saw what's going on in this closet right now, you would be shocked. You'd be absolutely shocked. But thank you, everybody, for like trying to help me. Oh, I feel like an idiot right now. What should I do? What should I do? Should I broadcast from Benji's room? Usually, Benji, what should I do? What do you think? Benji? I don't understand. Are you happy in the closet? I am happy in the closet, but I was really loving this, like, walk-in closet. It was so nice and, like, spacious, and now it's full of lights and, you know, my equipment, my microphone. It's, it's just like, I, I, this is not what I want, you know, so maybe I need to broadcast from the bedroom. 
I was so excited about broadcasting from the kitchen. That's the thing. I, I mean, you could try it. Wait, so your 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 problem is like you feel like it ruins the closet for for when you're not doing the show. Yeah, because I love this closet. I love it. Okay, so why don't we just make marks where the lights go? You think it'll be too much of a pain in the ass to set it up each time? Oh, you have no idea. I, I'm just uh. What I what I just had to do, if people saw me doing what I just did, <laughs> they they would be disgusted with me because I just I just you know okay. I think just so many wires. There's two alternatives. Mm -hmm. You could do the rest of the show from the closet tonight because it's fine. No, I'm gonna do it from here today, but I'm saying like for the rest of my life, you know, I plan on living here a while. I love this place, and I just I plan on living here a okay. while, and the ceilings are after so hot. After this show, after this show, you could do it like a little quick test show from the bedroom, see if the sounds okay. Or, or tomorrow you'll just do it from the bedroom. Okay. Uh, but why? It's, it's just weird that the ceilings are higher here than there. Anyway, that's, that's besides the point. Right now I need to deal with something. Uh, we're going to talk to Ken in a second. But first, we're having, someone is having a problem with someone else. And we need to figure that out. I don't know who this guy is. Who is this? Hold on, Swedish Chef. I'm just curious since I don't really care about this show since I screwed it up already. Hi, Swedish Chef. Are you the actual? Can you me? Yes, I can. You sound great. Hey, the Swedish chef. So, um, Swedish chef, uh, what brings you to the show? Are you new? Do you, do I know you? You dig it do, and you work in the moose. I don't trust that guy because I don't know him and I just don't trust him. So we'll, we'll get back to him in a second. Actually, it doesn't really matter because I screwed up the show so much. I just go back to him. Uh, Swedish Chef, are you uh, against me? Do you hate me? How do you feel about me? Okay, all right. You know what? He seems more of a caller type than like a person to be on the show. Uh, Dina. Dina, you are having a lot of problems with um, some of the people here. I'm concerned for you. I don't want you to be upset. So, oh, and great lighting, by the way. Great. Finally, Dina. Finally. I, see, I suck with my lighting today, but your lighting is on point. Actually, I can't hear you. So. Yeah, I got to get my, mic, my ear, ear phone. Hold on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finally, you have light. See, that's what I need. When you come onto the show, I need sound and I need, I need people to have light. And I, I prefer that you're not in your closet like me. I feel like, uh, like so unprofessional right now. Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll, can you hear me at all? I'm getting my headset. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, okay. um, I, I'm not having a problem with anyone. You know, the stupid uh, people. Oh, hold, hold, hold on. Oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm very curious what's going on with Dina. Okay, I can hear you now. Can you hear me, Lisa? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, can you? Okay, um, okay. Oh, <laughs> my headphone. So what's going on between you and Ismi? You and Ismi are having a feud? Is that what I hear? Well, uh, yeah, he doesn't, um, oh, oh. Um, I'm so sorry. Wait, I got the wrong earphones here. I'm going to have to hold That's okay. That. Oh, no, That's I have okay. another pair. Hold on. I'm sorry. I need to tell you. Hold on. This guy's Swedish chef. He sounds like the Swedish chef, and it's great, but it's like, uh, what is it? what's what's his plan here? I'm going to get these. Ah, much better. Okay. I think I okay. Am I good now? Yes. Very good. Nice to see you, Dina. Anyway. Thank you for coming on. By the way, how do you look so gorgeous after a day of moving? I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like shit. Thank you, Dina. I feel like shit. Like, uh, I moved all night last night. I went to Benji's premiere for his Sharknado 3, which is really fun. And then immediately after that, we moved. It's really hard moving. In fact, I didn't even move all my stuff in yet. I just moved, like, my clothes and, like, just, like, essential things, like my lights and everything for, for the show. But I have a lot of stuff in my other apartment. 
and it's really hard. It's really hard to move. Like I, I never had so much stuff before. Usually I don't have anything, but now I have so many clothes and everything. So I don't know what to do. It's really annoying, and we're, we don't have any movers or anything, so we're just doing it ourselves. Oh wow! Benji was like you moving. Uh, he had a move. Yeah, I can hear you. I'll turn you up. Okay. I think people are saying they can't hear me. See, now, I want to know what's going on with you, because you are very interesting to me. You write to me very long uh, paragraphs after paragraphs after paragraphs. You're very passionate. You have a lot of passion, and I, I, I see something in you that's, you, you're very emotional, much like myself, but you, instead of talking it out, I think that you write it out to people, and I think maybe they're not understanding where you're coming from, because when you write something so long, it's hard to, well, it's hard for me to understand. I can't really read very well. I, when I read something, I'm just like, oh, I don't know what she's talking about. So can you just explain it to me here, uh, why you're upset with Izmi and I think Kelly? Uh, not really. Um, well, um, yesterday for the first time, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, um, I usually go to bed right after your show, but I went on uh, Nicole and Kelly's show, the after show. And, um, Dissecting the frog. Right, and um, they really, they were really nice. It was a very nice room. Everybody was basically nice, and Kelly and Nicole were very sweet. Um, and then someone started spamming personal information on Honest Frank, so I didn't like that. Um, oh, you okay. know, once again. Um, I don't. I think they were trying to control it as best as they could, but it, it kept going on. So that. That was whatever, fine. And then, um, you know, I was having a nice time, and all of a sudden, Izmi Boom is on cam, and me and Izmi just ignore each other. There's just no love, no hate. We just ignore each other. Is, is that purposeful? All... Dina, we all, excuse me, Dina. Yeah. Is that purposeful when he's on camera and you're on camera? Do you purpose, purposely, or whatever, do you on purpose, do you ignore him on purpose? That's what I'm trying to get at. Yes, I've never been on cam on any show but yours, and as you know, okay. you can tell everyone, I only enable my cam once in a blue moon when I have my daughter's computer. I don't like being on cam too much, so I was not on cam. I was just in the chat, and okay. I, you know, I don't I didn't want to go on cam, um, and then, um, so Izmi Boom starts um, all of a sudden ranting and raging on me. I mean, I welcome anyone who wants to hear it go in their show. I guess Nicole or Kelly can tell you what time it was about, but it was... Okay, I'm going to talk to Kelly in a second. I'm going to talk to Kelly yeah. in a second. This is very strange. I don't know how she's able to do this, but somehow she has another, <laughs> she has another computer or something because she wants to talk to you too. But wait, so, but you're not mad at Kelly. You're mad at Ismi. Who are you mad at? And, and why does Ismi upset you? I'm only mad at Ismi, and um, he started spreading a whole bunch of lies about me, and he's like, like? Dina's, Dina's a piece of shit. D Dina hates gay people, which is, he's repeating that because of Hugh Valentine, a.k.a. Mush, Michael Cirillo, or whatever, that I, you guys Michael, always yes. see me write, I always um, write, write things to him, and I do repeat it. And the only person I've ever repeated things to is uh, Hugh, Michael Cirillo because he, I'm mocking him for how he used to do it to you, Elisa, when he used to come in here and go, show your W-2s, show your W-2s. Do you remember that? It would just spam for two hours in capitals. Yes. He would say, show your W-2s. And, and then one time you showed your, I think it was your paycheck stub, which surely proved yeah. you worked at Sirius. And I found him annoying as shit. And so I would tell him to leave you alone, and Thank he you. already saw it, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're an idiot. We all know Howard Stern said you work for him. I mean, it was just so stupid. So it sort of started on a bad note with him when I saw him doing that to you. I just, he was so annoying because all he did was spam the chat with, uh, you know, that. So that started it, and then he started um, uh, Michael Cirillo, Mush, started, um, uh, just attacking me, and then because I didn't like him back, he pretended it was because he was gay, and started saying, "Oh, she don't like gays," and I'd be like, "No, wait, I don't he, like you." Wait, he was he was into you, and then you weren't into him, so then he insulted no. you. Is that what you're saying? No, we weren't into each other. He is gay. 
He's outwardly okay. gay. He's coming, he, and he oh, has a crush really? on. Yes, he's outwardly gay, and he um, he calls Ismi his queen, and him and Ismi had a sexual conversation. Um, and That's funny because I used to was, be born Mush's queen. I used to be born Mush's queen, though. So maybe he just called guess, everybody that. Yeah, yeah, maybe I don't know. And anyway, so um, because I didn't like him, he started spreading lies and saying Dina doesn't like gay people. No, I don't like you, and you're gay. So. You know, it's like saying, um, you know, oh, I'm black. That's you hate all black people. He's one of those types that thinks that or that lies about it because it is a lie. And then he started spreading lies in this room. And then last night he took it to a whole nother level. And I wrote a song about him, by the way, a rap song. Oh, but, oh. Uh, we'll get to that. Okay. We'll get to that. I, I want him to be in here when I do that. But That's anyway, funny because he also raps. So, so the fact that you are rap, uh, made him a rap song is very appropriate. Of course. So anyway, so um, he spread a lot of hate on me last night, and he started lying to Nicole and Kelly. Were being very sweet. They're very nice women, and all of a sudden, yes, they are. he starts saying, "Yeah, he starts saying stuff about me." And next thing I know, they were like. Oh no, we're gonna kick her out if she hates gays. We're not gonna allow gay people, gay bashers. You don't hate like, gay people, type. though. You like gay people. No, I don't have any feelings. I'm not in love with gay people. I don't care about them. I don't. I like black people. I like gay people. I like Jewish people. I'm Jewish. I, I I like everybody. There's nothing about gay people that make them any different. But if someone is a nasty person and they're gay. They're nasty right. person. It doesn't well, if you're really nasty, it shouldn't matter what you are or you know who who you like. It's just you know. But but I I've never seen Ismi to be nasty. I I don't. And I watch uh, Dissecting the Frog. Is one of my favorite shows. Actually, it's my favorite show besides this one. And I, and I I he's always so sweet on there. In fact, I saw him kissing Corey uh, yesterday. He's right, kissing right, Corey. right. Well, that was no, no. But Elisa, what you didn't understand, um, if you watch it again, I welcome you and anyone in here too to see what a nasty bitch he is is um that was done for me that was because they were like we're going to show dina that uh you know we, we love gay people so corey and ismi made out like they were making out you know with the cameras by turning it right. aside and um it was to, to say here dina look at this i could care less if corey and ismi are gay or if they want to pretend they're kissing i could care less and it got me upset that everyone was acting like here dina this is for you and it was very, I was, Ismi was lying. He's very disgusting. And he's the first person to act like, oh, well, um, you know, you don't like me because I'm gay. Now, given the fact that I don't like him and he's gay, you know, I will make some remarks about him. And I might use that word or I might call him a tranny. Um, okay. You know, okay. But, Hold on. Okay. Okay, Dina, I, I, see where you're, I see what you're saying. Okay, now we have one of the hosts of, uh, you know, Dissecting the Frog, uh, Kelly Fox. Kelly, uh, what do you know about the situation, and what can you tell me about Dina and Ismi, and, and, and what happened? What exactly happened? Well, what happened? It started by somebody spamming the chat. It, it went by a name, Bong is Frank 1, Bong is Frank 2, 3, and they're spamming personal information, and I was catching it as fast as I could. But the whole time, Dina was like, they're posting, they're posting, and it was so distracting. In fact, we're having a conversation, I'm trying to do it. She was going crazy in the chat about it, and okay. Ismi... It's me. It's sick and sick of her and Mush going back and forth all day long, every night through the chat constantly, okay. and nobody can enjoy the chat because the two of them are constantly posting hate against each other. Okay, so it's Dina and it's me, not on camera uh, bothering people, but in the chat just typing a lot of uh, content, oh. like it's it's quantity, oh, that, it's not quality, right? Is that what you're saying? Right. No, so was, then it's me. It was me and uh, Michael Cerullo that do that in Elisa's chat. That's in, what in, in Elisa's chat. chat. Right, right. So Ismi's upset by this, and Kelly, are you upset by this as well? Does this ruin your show for you? Well, yeah, it ruins the show. For, it ruins the show because I'm I'm listening. I'm looking at her complaining that people are posting stuff. I could see it. If the chat goes by very fast, I try to catch it as fast as I can, mm -hmm. and. And try to have a conversation at the same time with the people that are on cam, and it was impossible. And so Ismi right. was getting frustrated that she kept saying that over and over, and went and went off. Well, I didn't say much in your room, uh, Kelly. I wasn't on cam 
first of all, and the only thing I typed was, oh, someone's giving out um, on the strengths personal information. And when you said, oh, we're trying to catch it, I say, okay, cool. I like you guys. And, then, and then, that. then you did it again and again and again. No, I said I it a few times, but then it became a problem when Izmi went on a rage and I had gave, I mean, I know you saw what he heard, what he said. You cannot please play it back. It was really disgusting and it was a bunch of lies. And then everyone me? starts making out with everyone. Yeah. Here, Dina, look at this. I could care What's wrong with making out with everyone? I don't care. That's the whole point. They were acting like, oh, well, we're doing this um, to show, you know, F you, Dina, look, we're going to make out. I could care less. I just, there was a lot Oh, that's why they made out? Wait, wait. They I made out for right. you? Oh, they yeah. didn't make out for her. They didn't make out yeah, for, were, for Dina. Yeah, yeah, they were like, look at this, like Dina. It. Does this make you, does this make you sick? <laughs> look. And they were taunting me. Is me, not they. Is me was taunting me and trying to get everyone to hate me by saying, look, we're going to kiss. I'm like, I could care less. I didn't like the vibe in there once. The vibe was in there was great up until Izmi started running his, his mouth. And he is just pure. He came out for me. And, um, well, you guys can go back and see it um, and hear it, I mean. But it was yeah. just really, really rude. And I, I really liked Kelly and Nicole. Up until next thing I know, they're like, Dina, if you're going to hate on gay people, you're going to have to leave. And I'm like, I never said a word. Like, you guys are listening to this guy who is a total jerk and liar. And, and who was I, that again? It, I'm sorry. I'm, right. it's, it's me. Me. See, I, I'm going to defend me. Ismi. He, I, I, he's not a total jerk and he's not a liar. Okay. You, you, spam, you spam Elise's chat every night Elise. with mush, one mush. Every night. That's not that's not Izmi's business. And it is. It's, it's annoying to us who are in the chat. It's annoying to us, the people that are viewing her show, that. when you two do that. He, he did a little more than that. He went off on me. I wish you could replay it because it was a lot more than that. And then he started spamming your show to try to prove his point, which made him look like even more of a jerk. And then he told lies about me. And the lies are what bother me. I don't care if what he were the lies? Then you go on Facebook. And then you go on Facebook and you post nasty comments on the pictures from last night's show. And then oh, you unfriend Nicole. Oh, no. Exactly. And it's just what ridiculous. And it's ridiculous. Photo, uh, Kelly, what did she write under your photo? I'm just curious. Um, that it's a show about haters, but I deleted it. Oh, good. I, it's well, not a show about haters. It's the exact opposite of that, Dina. It, it wasn't a show about haters at all until oh. Izmi took over the room and started hating on me. He got the vibe of the room, including Kelly and Nicole, who were perfectly fine with me, perfectly fine. He changed the whole vibe. I want everyone to see it if no one believes me. I think Kelly needs to look at it again. Next no, thing he I changed know, the vibe because I was complaining. No, you he changed the vibe that. because I was complaining to him. There. Every time someone spammed, you acted like I couldn't see it, but we could see it, and it goes so I fast. I never spammed and then in the room. Not you. Every time somebody spammed, you're like, do it again, do it again, and it was frustrating. Kelly, look it back up. I think maybe three times in, a, in an hour. Look it up. I want to make a bet with you right now that I did not spam your room, that you had other fake <laughs> accounts there spamming. I understood that you were doing the best you could. I even said, oh, okay, cool. Once you said you were doing the best you could. I think a total, I would like to put a money bet on this that I did maybe three or four times at okay. the most. You're trying to turn it into something you're, that never happened. You're trying to bet money that you didn't spam the chat last night. You want to bet money on that? Because no, I can do it right now. Is, yep, Izmi did. Prove it. Prove that Izmi did not spam the chat. No, oh, Izmi I did. did I Izmi not. did. Isn't he did? I never said Isn't he didn't. Yeah. Okay, yep. You can absolutely go right now. Um, I wish there's a way to show everyone because you're lying to take what it. What was Isn't he standing you were in the chat? I'm not lying. Um, Nicole, can lying. you bring it up? By yeah. Can you, Nicole, you, 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 can you bring it up now? Or I don't know how this works. The audio of what Isn't he did to me and how the vibe changed right after. Can you please bring it up? A lot of people are calling me right now. Excuse me. Um, I'm sorry, Dina, to interrupt you. A lot of people are calling me right now. They want to talk about this. Um, just hold on one second. Let me just take some calls. A lot of people have opinions. Some people are on Dina's side. Some people are on 
Kelly's side. Now let me take my first caller. I'm sorry. Of course. It's One second, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One second, everybody. I'm just going to put everybody on mute and just take some calls. You fucking piece of shit. Oh, Domina. I will strangle you with my bare hands. Domina, whose side are you on? You fucking piece of shit. Kelly's or Dina? Say one more goddamn thing to me. Say one Domina. goddamn more thing to me. Domina? Go ahead. I dare you. I was just wondering who you think is Shut right. Shut the fuck up. That means the lips get closed. You understand me? Domina, yeah. I was just wondering if you heard that fucking the frog last night. Domina? Domina? Oh, I'm sorry, she hung up. I don't know whose side she's on, either Kelly's or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, continue, Dina, I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. I think it was a prank. That's Domina. I think it was a prank, though, Lisa. I don't know who that is. I don't think so. No, it's not in real. Okay, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Well, it's very important to get other people's opinions, I think. I I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, not if they're haters, you know, they're just going to say, you know. Yeah, it, it didn't sound like a nice call, let's just put it that way. But I, I do take calls here because, you know, Kelly is a friend of mine, Dina is a friend of mine, Ismi is a friend of mine. You know, all these people are, are, are a part of this show. And it's, you know, it's just nice to, I don't know, that was really messed up, though. I'm sorry about that. So, Dina, what can we do to get you to be friendly with, um, with uh, what, what were we talking about? Oh, uh, Ismi again. And where is Ismi right now? I don't see him. Yeah, I, at work I tonight. That's why I'm on camera. Oh, oh my God. So, Kelly, that's so sweet of you. Kelly is here on camera. She never comes on camera here, but she came to defend Ismi. And that is a friend. That is what this show is about. People standing up for each other, standing up for themselves. So, so Kelly, what? No, mm -hmm. Kelly's being a fucking bitch is what she's doing right now. That's what this is about. Bring on the Kelly? Kelly? Mm. Yeah, right now. She's here defending me. Why? Why? Why are you defending him for what? Bitch, listen to me. Play back what he did last night. Let me hear you defend what he did to me, bitch. Play it. Play it. Why don't you play it, Dina? Why don't you play it? I don't know how to do that on my daughter's computer. I hardly know how to work the cam. I don't know how. I I don't. Exactly know how you're that. acting now is how you type in the chat. Oops, I type. I did that by accident. Perfect. Sorry. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly Perfect. how. She's lying. She's lying. Uh, you can't see it on an iPhone, Dina. It's not. Okay. It's not worth my breath. Can you post it um, on? You know. Can you post it on your show and Elisa can see it? I'm not going to come on, but I want to leave. You guys lying. What a lying bitch you are over that piece of shit. You're just such a fucking lying. Oh, I love right Ismi. I love him. What? I love Ismi. What? Kelly is so sweet always. I don't know what you guys are talking about right now, but hold on. We have another caller. Dina, one second. I can't believe you just called Kelly that. We have another caller. Let's see who it is. I have no idea who this is going to be. Three, you will always just be like Chad. We never know who they actually are. I think it's about Sheer. They're trying to cause shit here every second they get. What do you mean, Bashir? There's going to be repercussions. I'm going to be the one arrested. Bashir, who's sorry? Have a good night, everyone. Oh, wait, Bashir, where are you going? Wait, hold on. Let me try to get him back. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, I keep losing Bashir. Uh, it's very hard to keep him on the phone. He's, like, you know, very busy with his shows and stuff. Let me see what else he's... Uh, oh, sorry, Bashir. I got you back. <laughs> Last year, are you an Insta fan? Twiggy will always just be like Chad. Twiggy's Chad? You never know who they actually are. Drinking. Hmm. They're trying to cause shit here every second they get. I don't think anyone's trying There's to cause shit. Repercussions. I'm going to be the one arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Oh, oh, God, Bashir. Okay, all right. So Bashir, it seems like maybe he's on Dina's side. I'm not sure. Okay, but anyway, sorry about, sorry about that. Are we still talking? <laughs> sorry. Yes. Yeah? Elisa, it was a prank. Probably it was Bashir's voice, but it was a prank. Oh, okay. Because he that did sound like Bashir. Anyway, um, Bashir, so the point is. 
Okay. The, the point is, so I, I don't like what the names you're calling Kelly. Why are they so extreme? Because aren't you really mad at Ismi, but you're really striking out against Kelly right now? I feel like she's an innocent bystander in all this. No, she's not. If you notice, up until a minute ago when I called her a bitch, I was complimenting her and telling her how nice she was. Up until Ismi took over, she's been nasty with me since she came on, even though I kept... I haven't said anything nasty. You're the one calling me names. I haven't called you one name. You know what? You're here like, I'm here to defend Ismi, so that piece yeah, of shit... Yeah, because you... That piece of shit... Yes, he's not a piece of shit. Well, yes, he is! You, on your show! No, he's your not. your fucking show! And you are here yeah. to defend... You know what? Let him be a man yeah. or a woman, whatever he is, and defend himself. You're a fucking evil person. This means beautiful. I love him. Oh, it's, it's suck his cock, bitch. I'm telling you, you're fucking evil. You know what? You're sick. Kelly? I want everyone to hear. Yeah, I want Am everyone. Am I sick? To, very sick. I want everyone to hear this fucking lying bitch. I want you to hear what Ismi did last night, and then see if she's here defending. Ismi yelled at you for spamming the chat, and then Ismi spammed the chat. That's what happened last night. Do you know that when somebody spams a chat and you're really upset by it, you could just block that person? I mean, instead of, you know, this, which is worse, this is way worse than any of that. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't get upset when people spam the chat. I don't know why. It doesn't, right. like, you know, it's not, it's not great. It's not great, but it doesn't really bother me that much. But, Kelly, I think you're more upset, not at that, but the situation with Izmi, because you're trying to protect Izmi right now, and I totally get that. Um... And I don't appreciate her putting nasty comments on Facebook. Right. I don't give a shit. Are you friends on Facebook? Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. You are a stupid piece of shit. Aw, uh, you're so lovely. No, is there any way you get along? You're trailer trash. You are trailer trash. No, I'm a Jewish Jap, honey. Sorry, you're trailer trash. Well, you don't act like it with that mouth. Very ladylike you are. Really, you're you're such a lady for defending somebody that trashed me on your show, and I kept trying to be nice you. to you up until about three minutes ago. Okay, and I want no, everyone. That was more like five. Lisa, I want everyone everybody look to go in mm. your show from last night to see how you're lying. That Isney turned it into a total rant about me, not just spamming. It was a hell of a lot more of lies. And how because you're annoying as fuck. You're annoying as fuck. I, I came in your room and I told you you were a nice girl, a nice lady, and I, I, I annoyed you. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Team is me, team is me. Dirty, bird, bird. Anyway, um, anyway, I like that guy. I like, uh, I like, uh, Swedish there. But anyway, yeah, I mean, three minutes, you'll you like them. I, I want everyone, I like you up until five minutes, few five minutes ago when you said, I'm here to defend Ismi. You are low-class white trailer trash to defend someone that lied about huh. me, that I'm totally made up lies, that you let spam about me. He was a low-class piece of shit like you. And I want everyone to see the chat. I want everyone to see oh, what look you at said them. about yeah, the video, Look at them all, lies. yeah. Dina is a total piece of I shit. I don't know there's a bunch of haters in the there. The chat? You want the chat to defend you? You're asking the chat that you spam every night with Born Mush to defend you? No, what are you talking about, liar? I never asked anyone to defend me. What are you talking about? You're just saying, look at the chat, chat. You just said, I want everybody to see. Well, no, 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 that's no, who's no, here. No, no, it, no, dummy. In your room, I want everyone to see last night in the chat that you're lying. Oh, yeah. Your well, uh, half these people were here. Good. Half, you know, a few Good. of them were. Emilio. Well, you know, um, if anybody here wants to tell the truth, I, I think they just need to... Dina, I do have a message here. I have a message here from Ismi. He says, um, Dina sent me scarier PMs than Honest Frank and Jimmy Linguini combined. That's a What lie. is he talking about? Such a, I don't know. That's he what Ismi everyone, said. He thinks everyone that sends him a message has a crush on him. He outs everybody. I sent him a message a few weeks ago. Um, I'll have to look it up, and he's about, it into a, about what? Um, I think he was hating on me or something, and I asked him about if he was a Jew hater, and I asked him if he was so smart and a teacher, if he knew about the Middle East, and he said he knew nothing about politics, so I called him stupid. Um, so if that's what he's stuck on, I don't know, he's a, he's a freak. He thinks if someone messages him, they're in love with him. I really want you to see what he uh, did last night and how Kelly is lying her ass off that he didn't hate on me and that the whole tone of the room changed, including her 
after is me when on the paint rage. She's texting him right now, I'm sure. Uh, oh, I'm texting somebody else. Yeah. Okay, where is Nicole? Is Nicole here? Where is Nicole? I see her in the chat. I just don't know. Oh, thank okay, you, case, Rainbow. I love you. In case someone here is new, in case someone does not know this show, so uh, uh, below me is, is Kelly, the, the host, co-host of Dissecting the Frog. Uh, and there's another another person, uh, Nicole. She also is the co-host. And it's a very lovely show. It's a wrap-up show for this show. We actually created it. Well, they created it because to have a positive, you know, to be a very positive. It's a horrible show, Dissecting the Frog. Yeah, they spam people's phone numbers. Honest, Frank, I mean, they acted like they Spam people's phone numbers. numbers. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. They were, no, they didn't, but they let people on. They were not picking Hold up. Hold on, here's a regular like, guest. I have a regular guest of Dissecting the Frog named Ken Champion. Ken, you're on Dissecting the Frog all the time. All the time. Is it a horrible show like Dina said? Dina says Dissecting the Frog is awful, and all they do is spam people's phone numbers. Ken, can you tell me what you think of Dissecting the Frog? Dissecting the Frog is a great show. Uh, it's the best uh, wrap-up show that since I've been here... It's by far leaps and bounds above everybody else's show. Okay. That's right. Did you see last That's night? right. Thank Ken, you, Ken. Did you, Ken, did you see last night? Talk about last night. I don't, I, that's cool. I, don't I saw you. 30 minutes of the show. I had a bad sinus infection yesterday, and I was in bed all day long. I'm, yeah, I missed Kermit and Friends yesterday. I, okay, I turned Ken, it on for a few minutes, but I wasn't there last night. Ken, about 30 you, minutes. Okay, I hope you feel better, and please watch last night, and then come in a show tomorrow, and tell me if Kelly's not lying her ass off of is me turning everyone against me and lying his ass off that I hated games. Honey, you turned back. everyone against you a long time ago. No, no. It, oh, really? it sounds like you you're like a little paranoid, Dana. No, Ken, you can look at the chat from last night. Everyone was really nice I'm to looking. me, including Kelly, including from last night. And Kelly's show, including Kelly was being very sweet. Nicole was being very sweet. As soon but you just called her a bitch. I, no, I said you just she called Kelly a bitch. Black. Now I'm a bitch because I agree with I don't I'm, hate Ismi, so I'm a bitch. I called her a bitch today for lying. Last night she was as sweet as could be. So was Nicole. Very nice women. I even said you guys are really sweet. Is what I'm trying to tell you. That was a very nice feeling. And then, as soon as Ismi got on cam, it changed. Nicole Kelly started hating on me. You've got to see the show. Ken, please watch it and see. I he definitely will. I thought he watched it. Weren't you watching? Or were you watching Sharknado 3? I watched 30 minutes of uh, Dissecting the Frog. I was felt so bad. I didn't go on camera. I sat there. I... I made a few comments in chat, and right. then went and watched Sharknado. Okay. I just laid down in bed and watched Sharknado. Okay. Okay, so you don't really know who's right here, but it seems like, I mean, I watch Dissecting the Frog all the time, and it, it's always so sweet and positive, complimentary, and everyone gets along. Even Frank and Corey got along, smiling and laughing together. So the fact that Dina thinks it's such a horrible show, I'm just wondering... Stop. Yeah. Elisa, Elisa, stop turning it on me. Please stop turning it. I said it was a Hey, show. I'll go watch the show right now, and by the end of this show, I'll tell you what the deal is. I can watch both shows at the same time. Okay, thank no you. No problem. It. Thank you. Watch what Ismi does to me. Watch it. And I'll I will. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely see what he does. I and then I'll come back and give you my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Elisa, All right. you're... Lisa, the reason you're not getting this, Elisa, the reason I don't like the show is because I was hated on the show. Of course, if that had not happened to me, I would have liked the show. I said it was Aww. a nice show up until Ismi got on chat and changed it completely. Ismi I'll be right back. I'm okay, pulling sweetheart. up the show. Okay, sweetheart. Okay, okay, sounds good. I I'm just wondering, what is Crystal talking about? Is she involved in this somehow? Why is Crystal making comments about this? Was she there? I'm just I wondering. Know, I don't know. I think Crystal might have been there. Actually, I know someone for a fact that was there. Uh, Corey was kissing people there. So Corey was definitely there. Corey, did you kiss 
kissed Izmi to, 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 oh, where'd he go? He just left. Hold on. I'm just wondering if he kissed Izmi for a bad, some kind of bad reason, but really, there's no bad reason to kiss someone. I don't, you gotta, I don't know. You gotta watch the show. You gotta watch the show and you'll see what led up to it. It was Izmi, um, hating on me and saying, here, here's, uh, you hate gay people. Look at us. And it was, you gotta see the show, Elisa. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. Hold on. My foot fell asleep. Hold on. Let me just move my foot. Don, uh, whose, whose side are you on, Don? All right, he left. Sorry. No one wants to give any answers about this. No Where's one. Corey. Ever... He's right here. Hi, Corey. Well, Corey's going to take up for Izzy okay. because they're First best all, friends. First of all, let's I mean, get one thing. They're not best friends. Out. They're not best friends. Are you best friends with Izzy, Corey? Just be honest. Honest, Corey. No. No, I'm not. No. You're not best friends with hey, Izzy? Okay, but, but, but just, 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 just a minute here. Let's get one thing straight off the bat. That night, I was not smiling and laughing with Frank. We were laughing at him, and I was laughing my right. ass off the just hardest. Frank, I was Corey. laughing at him. I just was Frank. Laughing and laughing at him. Just, just Frank. Just Frank. So okay, let's go ahead. Oh, anyway, Corey. Hi, Corey. Um, yeah. I mean, I hope you can be honest here, unless you're going to join the hate bandwagon. When is you saw <laughs> is me go on that hate rant on me, right? Can you at least admit you saw that? Because I saw you in the room. I, I missed yeah. that last part. I heard the rest um, of it. Missed it. Missed okay. the last part. Okay. Uh, can you admit that you saw what happened last night with Izmi on Cam about me? Did you see, you saw it? I know I saw you. Were you admit honest? You saw what no, Izmi? I was not actually paying attention to all that. For probably okay. the first no. part of the show, I was out in the living room watching America's Got Talent. Oh. Okay. Well, I so, need everybody. I need. I don't, I need, I don't know. Be honest. Um, be honest. I don't know nothing about this until just now, so. Oh, what do you think now? What do you think of it now? You got to go back and watch it. I think it's between it. them. It's Thank you, Corey. I can, I can you, go Corey. back and watch it. It'll have to be later, though. Yeah. Okay, I want you and Elisa and whoever doesn't believe me to watch it and see what a liar Kelly is and how Izmi trashed me. And a liar? Eyes and turned. Oh, oh, okay, there is one thing. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, Kelly. I never said that he didn't. I never said that he didn't spam you in chat. He did. He I did spam you in chat. The, yeah, oh, in the cam. Because the you're camp. a pain. Because you're a pain in the ass in the chat is what's made him Kelly, snap. Kelly, I never said a word in the chat. He did it out of the blue, and I'm going to prove it. Alisa and Corey are going to go in it tonight. I will. I will. I was in the chat. I was in the chat. Okay, well, I saw it. Go back and watch. I was going to say. It's, it's, the only thing that is me spam. It's not past anyone from yeah. spamming. And if it's me spam, yeah, I can believe it. But, you know, okay. but, I mean, we're on social sites. It doesn't matter what social site you're going to go to, you're going to get spammed. I'm used right. to spam. No, but, no. yeah, it's not past right. anyone. I get and, if he, it. and if he did, I wouldn't be surprised. I I've seen it. him do I'm it before with other people. Right. He's a piece of. The funny, the funny thing is, the reason I spam. Hugh Valentine, Michael Cerullo, in your show, Elisa, is again yeah, for the rest of us. Is it is again mocking what he did to you? But when he would say, "Show your W twos, show your W twos," that's how me right. and Hugh Valentine, mushy, whatever you call him, Michael, got on a bad start was because I defended you, Elisa, when he started. Who appointed saying, you, Elisa's defender? Uh, I'm her friend, and I like her, so oh. I'm going to defend. I didn't know. I didn't know you were friends. I didn't know you hung out. Yeah, well, wh whatever you want to think, but yeah, I can defend somebody who I like. Are you her friend or her fan? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I oh, thought no. you were friends with Ismi. How are you friends with Ismi? I'm, I'm a fan of Ismi. Oh, so you two have met, right? Yes, we have. Have you met Ismi? Uh-huh. Yes. I'm sure you have. We all want to meet Ismi, okay? We all want to meet Ismi. Okay, but I want everybody. Well, don't don't to speak see. for all of us. I I don't want to meet them. <laughs> exactly, Corey. But I want everybody. I hold on. I gotta power this up. I want everybody to watch Kelly's show from last night that she is lying her Thanks, ass yeah. off. That she's lying. Not her lying ass my ass off. off. Yeah, I'm gonna prove it when they watch. All right, prove it. I'm I'm looking for proof right now, Dina. Well, well you gotta watch. Okay, the if show you're not me. lying your ass, who? who I watched it. I didn't not lying their ass off. I'm lying, apparently. Okay, well then that means you got to do the um, um, a, um, Ace Ventura thing. You got to get up, turn around, bend over, and use your hands to speak out of your butt. 
and ask, oh, okay. ask her a few questions. Okay, so anyway, Corey and Elisa, and anyone yeah. else here, including Kelly, Kelly watch here. the show from last night, okay? I was watching, and I, I saw I saw the spam from you and Ismi. All Ismi was writing is, I think he was writing over and over, I'm spamming the chat or something like that. It wasn't anything really offensive. Forget about the spam. Forget the spam. He wrote, I hate everything. Well, okay. I'm talking about him on spam. My, what's yeah. right about Nicole, me? is there a number to call the show? I hate everything. That's what he wrote. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, Elisa, wow. did you hear me? So now, now you were okay. now you were in the chat, Elisa, or you weren't? First you said you weren't. And now uh, you no, weren't. no, I was. I, I was at a premiere last night, and I was on my app, so I could not see as many, uh, you know, spams as I wanted to. But I saw your spam, and I saw Ismi just writing something not very mean or anything, nothing like striking out. But he he was yeah. writing the same thing over and over. Is that considered right. spam? Uh, I, I don't spam. know. If that's, yeah, that's, okay, that's spam. Yeah, Elisa, you make it sound like it says big red carpets uh, premiere thing. It was on TV for crying out loud. No, I went to yeah, the premiere. The premiere of, no, Corey, I went to the party. The premiere of the, of the third um, um, movie. It was the premiere of the third movie, but it's, you're making it sound like this big red carpet event. It was. Okay, so I just, was just, for one, just one second, it please. I'm sorry. Very far, Lisa, just right in your living room. Um, Elisa, real quick, I started, she, ch she chatted in a row, constantly, you okay, chatted. so that's spam. So the spam, Corey, are you offended by spam? Are you, I'm just wondering if spam upsets Corey, since he's so honest. Corey, tell us. Yes, exactly, poverty goes through. Yeah, well, see, I don't, I don't spam at all. If right, it's why, would you? Waste well, also, time, why would you? Why would you? But if someone's going to be spamming me, I just ban their ass. In Elisa's chat. And it ruins it yes, for the rest of us. One person. Okay, you never seem to give a shit about it until your friend Ismi started going crazy on me. Elisa, I'm we all give a shit, Dina. Dina. Shut the fuck up, pig. We, Listen, Elisa, I want you to read me the chat, but more, more importantly, I was reading it. I, no, I. Yeah, I, did you not take your meds today, Dina? Um. I took it this morning, thank you. How about you? Oh shit, that's what I I forgot no, my meds. Oh man. <laughs> and I won't be able to operate on you guys and exercise. Lisa, you. I want you to watch <laughs> what Izzy did to me on Cam. That's when Kelly changed her tune. I want you to watch and I want everyone to see what a liar Kelly is, how nice I was in her chat until Izzy turned the chat into a room full of hate with lies about me on Cam. You see me on Cam now? Uh, Lisa, please watch what he did, and I promise you won't defend him or Kelly and see what a liar she is. Ooh. Thank you. And I have a song, but I want is me in the room. Well, he's watching. He just texted me, so he's watching. Do you want to just perform it for him, and I'll get his comment after? Okay, but i got to close the window. I don't want the whole neighborhood hearing me. All right, but I want to see you. I, I don't want it to be dark while you're singing. No, no, you know, no, you, should, you should play that time. Probably uh, should be here, dark while she's singing. Kelly, I want, I want to see her. I want to see her while she's singing. Everybody, let's just give uh, Dina some respect. She's performing. We all know how nervous oh, we get when we perform. Like, Fuck that shit, stupid bitch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> actually, Elisa, you should play the song by um, I was a fine young cannibals or oh, something. No, no, she drives me you. crazy. But let's put it that if she drives me crazy, we'll put it's, no, no. it's me drives me crazy. I got my no own song. One. Very good idea. I have my I have my own song. I, I have a song. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let's let's respect Kelly and uh, Corey, even though we're upset with Dina right now. Let's just give her respect because I, you know, I'm a musician. I I get really nervous. I have a song that I want to play too about the Omina, and I'm nervous. So we we all are nervous singing. Let's just relax and just be sweet and nice to Dina while she's singing. And then afterwards, we could tell her See, whatever I'm, you want. I'm not upset with her, Elisa. Right. It's not putting words into people's mouths. Stop speaking for her because I got nothing to be upset with Dina, Dina about. I know. No, no. You, I got no issues with her. Okay, so you're cool with uh, Dina. Okay, great. Okay, so most of us are cool with Dina. So, Dina, uh, go ahead. Um, Elisa, um, I have to ask you a technical a technical question first. Okay. Um, I, I need my music. It's on this iPad, but I have my earphones yes, on. Yes, it should. It has a thousand corpses. 
no one okay, here. okay, one second. I'm going to tell you exactly what, what to do. Okay, so for your performance, I want you to take your headphones off, but then after your performance, then put them right back in so we could talk to you, okay? Okay, so you'll be able to hear me? Yeah, because I want to hear the track and your, your rapping. Okay, so if I unplug my earphones, you can hear me? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay. I'll try it out. Hold on. Okay. Well, I think we're all very excited. Okay, okay Dina. Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay, so now play the, the music, and then and then you're going to put your headphones back on after you're done. Okay. Oh, she meant rapping. Well, I wish it was where my head is. What did you think she said? Rapping. No, I thought you said fappy. Fappy. F-A-P-P-I-N-G. Can you hear me? Oh. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Like I said, it shows where my head is. Wow. Mr. Honest about it. Is me, boom, is that your name? If you are gay and proud, admit who you are and go insane. You lie about people who you don't know. You have no life. Let it go. You married a woman. You say, is that because your family doesn't know you're gay? You say you're a woman and gay for a cock. You say, I'm sorry, you say you're a man and gay for a cock. Dude. You married this poor woman. You claim she has a rock. What a what woman would marry your ugly tranny ass? You wear your wife's clothes. I'll take a pass. You lie that I hate gays, but I don't. Only Michael Cirillo and Ismi Boom. Oh, no, you won't. I have gay friends who are good in their heart. You, sir, or madame, have been a scumbag liar from the start. You cheat on your wife and go online with Hugh Valentine, a.k.a. Born Mush. Does she know she has an unfaithful piece of shit? Oh, my. Hush, hush. Hold on. I'm not done. You think everyone has a crush on you if they send you a message. Wake up and smell the coffee. Okay, it's only a message. People you think love you laugh behind your back. It's funny to see an ugly dude dressed in a woman's dress lipstick. Oh, what a hack. You think you are cute, dressed like a gal. Well, guess what, Ismi Boom? You you really fail. You think you're so smart and claim to be a teacher. Yet when I quiz you in the Middle East, you, you showed you're no teacher. No school would let a he, she like you teach kids. You would scare and frighten them. You could cause SIDS. You are full of hate and rage because you are confused about your sexual identity. You think you're a queen like Caitlyn Jenner, but we all know better. You lied your ass off about me last night. Those who know me know I am right. You are online 24-7, is me, Boom. You're evil and spew hate and won't go to heaven. You lie and say I hate gays because I don't like yeah. you. And you, Valentine, the creepy stalker. You're pathetic. You're yeah. both yeah. and two stupid talkers. Once again, let me remind you, you freak. You got laughed at 24-7 behind your back, you creepy, ugly liar, and I know you're a hack. Don't ever fuck with me again. Be sorry, freak. It will be the end. How long have you been rapping for? About an hour. Jeff, did you enjoy that song? How about you, Kelly? Uh, Kelly, you're not really friendly with Dina right now, but I'm just wondering what you thought of the song. It was a slanderous hate rap. Oh, yeah. Just like, just like Ismi With does friends. to everybody else. Just like Ismi does to everyone else. But oh, it's okay. Not to everybody. Not, not to everybody. Just yeah, you. I've seen him do it to a, no, he did it to a lot of people. Liar. Oh. 
Who? Um, who? Dina? Who? I will talk, shut the fuck up, you fat pig, or you'll be next. He did it to you. Uh, do you to read a song about the Swedish chef? He did it to Hugh when they were fighting. He always does it. He's full of hate. He's full of hate and blames it on, oh, you hate me because I'm gay. So I hope you all like my song. I've never rapped before. That was my first. And you know what? If this lying bitch Kelly keeps it up, I'll make one about Shut me. up, you ugly cunt. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Everybody just relax. So, Dina, you plan on continuing to rap? Is that what you're saying? You, you just started, but you want to keep going no. with it? No. I just wanted to write it about Ismi. You know, Mr. Cool, he always makes up songs, mean songs about people. I love his songs. Look at that camera. You're frightening. Look at Kelly, everybody. Look at the pig. Look at Kelly right now. She's so angry. She's like, looks like she has venom coming out of her, her face over Ismi. Look at her. Look at her. Chef. Look at her. You're a Chef. lunatic. Chef, how do we get these two to get along? Because uh, Dina's just, no. just, uh, no, she's just freaking it. out. Wait, I want to see if Chef knows, like, a, a solution to this. Chef, do you know how we can get uh, it to be friendlier around here? I mean, Dina's really, really going uh, far with her, her words. Yeah, but when it's me, uh, you I'm need not. to make it a chocolate mousse. Uh, you put it a chocolate on the mousse, and you eat it a chocolate mousse. Burky burk. A chocolate mousse? So how do we make that, Chef? How do we make Because we do need a chef. We used to have a chef on this show, but he quit. So do you want to be our new chef? Uh, okie dokie, uh, what you need to do is you take a chocolate and you put it on the mousse. You put it on the mousse. Okay, so you have mousse you already. You make it a chocolate mousse. But how do you get the mousse? Like, how do you, how do you, I always wondered about that. Like, I know how to make pudding or, or like a jello, but how do you make a mousse? I'm looking at a mousse. Uh, you see, the, hear the mousse, come hear the mousse, come hear the mousse, and the mousse comes over. I'm gonna make that. I'm really hungry right now. Okay, so, 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 okay, so to, to get Dina and Kelly to get along, all you need is some mousse and it has to be chocolate. Can't be any other kind of mousse. Uh, you needed a mousse and you needed a chocolate. And you put in a chocolate on the mousse. Alright. That seems to make a lot of sense. Kelly, if you had a mousse right now, would you feel better about Dina? Would you like her more? If I had talked to Moose, probably. Me too. I wouldn't. Not after last night. You're telling me, no, Dina, no. you would talk to Moose. Oh, hold on. Dina. At least I don't Dina. look like Porky Pig. Yeah, okay, you do. Dina, Dina, listen to me. If you had chocolate mousse right now with a spoon and you were eating it, you really would be acting the same way? I don't think so. Um, I don't like Kelly after last night. That's okay. You don't have to like me. I don't. Nobody said you have to like me. I love how you're so obsessed with Ismi you came here to represent him. You know he's a low-class piece of white trash like you. I love Ismi. I love him, I too. you're a freak. And Elisa loves him too. What do you think about that? I do. I do love him. I could care less. Elisa likes me also. What do you think about that, you pig? I think that's great. She has the right to like everybody. Chad just says he likes her. Uh, you can make it a perk. Do you want to make it a perk? Are you going to use it, pig? What, 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 Shaf? What did you say? Something about pork. Are you going to make it a perk? Pork? You can make it chocolate pork, a chocolate cover bacon. You take the bacon and you put the pork in the pig. Actually, actually, I have a question about that, Chef. Well, hold on, Dina. One second. This is very important. Uh, chef, I've heard that people actually eat chocolate-covered bacon, and this is like a new thing that they serve in restaurants. How do you feel about that? Do you think that's a good combination? Pretty yummy, yummy. So you cook that, too? Uh, you cook it in the bacon and you put it in the chocolate. Yummy, yummy. And how many cheeses, if you were to make a macaroni and cheese dish, how many cheeses would you use? Just out of curiosity. Uh, you could use a pretty pretty cheese of cheese. Did you say 87 cheeses? Uh, 82. Right. 
What about a pot roast? Uh, how much would it cost to make a, a pot roast? Like how, for all the ingredients, to buy the ingredients and to, you know, put it together, how, how much would that cost me? Uh, you buy the dying bag, and you buy the pot, and you smoke the pot, and you roast your brain, and it's a pot to roast you. Oh. It's about a dee to do. Hi, Chuck. Hold on one second, Chuck. Hey, can you hear me okay? Because uh, I know sometimes there was an issue with people being able to hear when I called you. I think I so. Can. Yeah, ask, maybe ask Elisa. Yeah, she says she can hear you. Okay, great. I mean, I'm calling you because Elisa's in the closet right now, and she has really bad cell reception, so I can't That's call like... her. So do, you mind, do you mind taking my call for today? Not at all, Chad. Okay, great. Hey, all right, so let me start off by saying that I think this Dina up fight is going a little long. So if it's all right with Elisa, maybe I can change the topic a little bit so you guys can discuss something else. That's great. That okay? I think okay. so. I, at least right. the show. <laughs> yeah. Why does he okay. want the topic today? So, I've been thinking quite a bit about uh, empty wallets uh, when he appeared on the show a couple of days ago. It's uh, really been on my mind, and some things have happened since then that I found to be very hypocritical and like quite disturbing. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but after Empty appeared, or when Empty appeared on the show, Domina, you know, who is Empty Wallet's co-host, uh, they host the show together on Spreecast, or they did, she came in the chat, I think everyone saw, and she literally like lost her mind to ordering Empty to leave the show and, and get off the screen with Lisa. And so, I, at first everyone thought it was fake, but it turns out it was real. But it's made me really think about Domina and like her character and what kind of person she is because I, looking back, I really find her to be very hypocritical now. You know, she had this whole show where all she did was focus on talking about Elisa and she all she did was book on, you know, Elisa's guests, people that have left Elisa's show. And then uh, she was out, you know, ordering people not to talk about Elisa and making fun of people for focusing on Elisa. Well, that's all she did. Her show literally focused on Elisa, like 90%, okay? Mm -hmm. And another good thing, and I, I really have to thank Crystal. I know people will find this as a surprise, but Crystal the other night was in a hangout where um, Gamina came in and started yelling at Hickey Wallace, and Crystal was defending uh, and making some great points. And some of the things she pointed out was that, you know, Excuse me. I'm so critical of Elisa, Saying that Elise is so quick to like end friendships, like with Sheila, and to like you know cast off you know real relationships so quickly. Fucking Domina, are you kidding me? She had this co-host for like a, like 50 episodes. They had hundreds of hours together. He was so loyal to her, such a good guy to her, and she just ended her friendship with him at like the flick of a switch simply because he comes on and appears on Elise's show and decides to do something nice. But Domina's a fucking hypocrite. Seriously, that she did exactly what she accused Elisa of doing. Casting away friendships so casually. I don't know. I just really disappointed Domina. I thought she was a strong, like real woman. But I think she's actually a very fragile, insecure person inside. She really is. Um I don't know. I guess that's really all I have to say, but Chris, I think if you're listening, I think you did a great job defending the empty wallets. I think Domina is actually a very insecure person. It's quite clear. I feel sorry for her. She's a hypocrite. I wish her the best. But, um, uh, I don't know. That's, that's really all I have to say. Anyway, love you, Kelly. Love you, Lisa. Bye, Bye. Bye. Chad. Bye. Can you ask Chad if he, if he's dating Crystal? Is too late? Yeah. Don't recall I'm really curious about that because Crystal's saying a lot of weird things in that chat if she's not dating him. If she's not dating him, I, I don't even know what's going on there because I've heard rumors that Crystal's dating Chad, but then I heard a rumor that she's dating Michael Strathmore, so who is it? I, I'm very curious. Is it both? If it's both, that is really nuts because they know each other, they, they talk. I, I don't know how I'd feel about that. I mean, one is fine, but both is no good. We gotta find that out. So, Crystal, if you uh, have an answer to that question, is it Chad or is it Michael Strathmore? Please put it in the chat. Um, all right. So, Dina, what are you what are you doing? Are you folding clothes? Or? Chad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's Chad. Hold on, there's Chad. Wow, he's calling back. Hold on, Dina. Yes, we have a question for you. Okay, what's the question? Elisa wants to know if you're dating Crystal. Uh, no, I'm not dating Crystal. 
but I have immense respect for Crystal. I really do. Uh, I used to think of her a lot differently back when she was, um, I don't know, a few months back. But I've been talking with her lately and seeing her being so courageous and not afraid to say nice things about someone who did something nice. It's really uh, changed my opinion of her. Uh, I think she's got a lot of courage. I have immense respect for Crystal. Uh, immense respect for Izzy Wallace as well. Okay. So, but the answer to that. No, Thanks, Chad. Okay. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Do you think that Chad does not want to tell us what's really going on with Crystal? Because that's that's what I get the feeling. That's the feeling I get. He seems a little um, shocked that we asked that. What's Benji doing? A lot of people are um, are nervous to say what's going on, what's really going on. Not Dina. Dina says what's really going on. But uh, some people, maybe like Chad, he's a little shy. Benji, what do you think of um, Chad denying that he's he has something going on with Crystal? Because Crystal has been saying over and over again, she's very honest. Crystal is unbelievably honest with things that a lot of people wouldn't be. And she's been saying in the chat over and over, I'm dating Chad, I'm dating Chad, I'm dating Chad, I'm dating, Chad, I'm dating Michael Strathmore, I'm dating Chad. So yeah, I, I kind of think that she's, she, maybe she's being honest about it. Benji, what do you think? I think the fact that he's denying it proves it. So, so uh, I don't think he would deny it if he wasn't doing it. Right. Right. Same here. So, Benji, whose side are you on, uh, Dina or or Kelly? See, Kelly uh, broadcasts a beautiful show, wonderful show, so positive, so happy, full of joy and kissing and hugging and all this. And Dina. Dina is acting like it's, it's it's some kind of negative show. What do you think, Benji? You've seen dissecting the frog. Dina, I, I want to ask you a couple. I want to ask Dina a couple questions. Wait, what is Dina about to say? That's all I'm curious. Wait, Dina, what? Alicia, Alicia, you would feel the same way if you were the victim of haters on a show. I loved the show up until I got hated on. Up until Izzy went on a rampage on me, it was a nice show for about five minutes. They don't pay nice you on that show. Let me ask you something. On your show. No, on a, a Kelly show. But let me right. ask you something, Elisa. You know, I love you, but if you went to Bashir's chat where everyone hates you, you wouldn't like that show, right? So how can you blame me for not liking a show that some bi, woman, whatever he is, goes on a total lying rage about me? Like, why would I like that? I don't Actually, know Bashir's I show is one of my favorite shows. I love that show. I don't mind. It's funny to me. You know, you have to be a little bit um, more thick-skinned, I think, because when I when I listen to Bash, yeah, okay, because when I go into Bashir's show, it's it's delightful. Like I, I don't listen to it now uh, as much, but before when they just kept talking about me, I, I enjoyed that. It was funny to me. And then I before I got blocked there, I'd go into the chat and just write random things. You have to kind of look at it as. Um, Let's see. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. It's it's like, but I know that no one was really attacking you that bad because Ismi, he maybe he had a problem with you, you know, writing the same thing over and over because he just wanted to hear more of what you had to say, something different, you know, maybe not just the same sentence. Yes. Lisa, two things. I have a problem with Ismi dressing up like a woman and wearing lipstick because he looks ugly in it. But I don't pick on him and hate on him for it. And number two. Okay, he can keep his personal problems with me to himself, like I keep mine to myself about a lot of people. You don't have to like everyone. It doesn't mean you have to be a bully. Can you agree it doesn't mean he had to be a bully? I didn't see him be a bully, but wait. Okay, Benji, what's your question for Dina? I'm, I'm really curious what your questions are going to be. Dina, um, I have a couple questions. Okay, Benji. Benji, hold on. Um, I have uh, some mutual friends with you from Penn State. I'll talk to you about that later. They say hi. Okay, that's a that's very important. We should definitely get to that. Um, I know. But um, first of all, I I did think your rap sounded anti-gay. You said you weren't anti-gay. It sounded like you it was. Yes. Like making yeah, fun of is. him. And I don't even know if he is gay or isn't. But um, he's married to a You woman. said at the uh, you said at the beginning that you were. It sounded like you were upset that he's been sexual with this um, this guy um, that you've been fighting with in chat. Um, I'm not upset about it. I just think it's... No, no, no. But how would you even know that? It's public. I mean, it's What do you public. mean it's public? Um, I don't know any of these people. 
people in real life. I know it from Elisa's mom. But how do you know that they've been sexual together? Uh, oh. No, not together physically. I said um, I've seen messages that they've sent to each other, which Ismi posted on his page, on Ismi's own page. He posted it. For the few days that me and Ismi were friends, I saw it on Ismi's page. Ismi likes to out uh, people, and he outed him for doing that. Uh, Ismi outs everybody. I've never seen Ismi out anyone. What do you mean? What do you mean? How did Ismi out someone? Do you not remember what he did to Claire? Okay. Claire? One, he was a pig. Oh, Claire was flirting with Ismi. Claire was flirting with Ismi, and then Ismi was honest about that. I actually love that he was honest about that. It made me very interested. It was very, uh, you know, uh, uh, shocking and, and wonderful. And I'm glad he outed him about that. I, I'm glad I know that information, and it, it makes me more um, intrigued by Claire. Okay, well, I don't want to actually talk about my friend Claire. That was a bad example. But what I'm I saying love is Claire. Ismi got evil. I do, too. But what I'm saying is Ismi got evil and outed him in a bad way, not a good way. Just like bad? How is flirting with Ismi bad, though? When you say outing, all that happened was that Claire, I'm sorry, Ismi said that Claire was hitting on him. Okay, so how is that bad? I think that's wonderful, and I love it. So so how is that bad? Because um, he lied about it. And oh, it was a lie? Yeah. Wait, it was a lie? So so Claire never hit on um, Ismi? Not the way Ismi's claiming. Ismi thinks everyone's hitting on him if you send him a message. It's disgusting. I'm sure he's oh, okay. not hitting on him, but I like, you know, men dressed in... Uh, women's clothing, you know, I mean, and I don't. But and, okay. can I answer Benji? Can I answer Benji? Yeah, please talk to Benji more. Benji probably has more questions for you. Go ahead, Benji. Benji, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I want to answer you. Uh, yeah, it did sound a little bit like that. You got to understand I'm writing um, a rap song and I had to rhyme. I had to try to rhyme my words. I'm not as talented as you with writing, so I try to rhyme my words. <laughs> I thought I was pretty good, and yeah, um, you know, I guess that's the only ammunition I had, so I am going to pick on him a little bit for it, because he looks so disgusting as a woman. You know, I love Caitlyn Jenner, but um, Ismi Boom is no Caitlyn Jenner. So so your reason for writing an anti-gay rap is because it makes it easier to rhyme when you're anti-gay? Uh, I'm not anti-gay, and if you heard the song, which I can, I'll, I can sing again, um, I clearly said on three verses of it, I'm not against gays. Why are you lying about me? And I can read it again, with, you know, but um, you know, I did make fun of him dressing as a woman. Does, so does that upset you when someone dresses as a woman? Um, only if they're really ugly like him. Why, why, why would that upset you? Like, why would that make you be mean to somebody? I'm not mean to him, Benji. He's I know why. Benji, I know why. I know why. I know why. Okay, hold on one second. I know why. Uh, hold on, hold on one second, you guys. All right, so Dina. All right, I don't even know how to get at this. So you? No, I, I just figured it out. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So you you feel very not threatened, but like like angry at certain people. I've noticed this about you. When you, you know, were on that like Stern Fan Network, and you, you were fighting with Bashir, you're just always fighting with someone. So it has to come from somewhere. What? No, I get picked on. I get picked on. I don't know. You get picked on. Why do you think you get picked on? Why? Because I get picked on too, and I want to figure out why I get picked on. So let's figure this out together, Dina. Instead of lashing out at, you know, it's me or someone that you feel has picked on you, let's figure out why everyone's picking on you and what you could do to be so strong that it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect my real life as far as, you know, like, unlike a lot of people like Bashir who doesn't work and begs for money and sits on the computer 24-7 like Kelly does and Izzy. It doesn't affect me. Okay, you already. Kelly, you it's know, stupid, for you to say that... Okay, that, to say that about Kelly, you're striking out again. You're striking out again. Um, I want to keep away from that, Dina. So, so Ken, can you tell Dina, maybe it'd be better for her if she was just kind of like not, like be very conscious 
you know, to say that about Kelly when you don't know that she actually has a full-time job, to say that about her when you actually don't even know any facts about her. Sorry? Lisa, can you hear yeah. Me? Yeah. Hey, I just watched it. I just saw the whole deal, what went down. I, I started it. I fast-forwarded up to when Is Me come in. Uh, then I saw when Dina come in chat, I saw the first thing she said. And, uh, if you ask me, I say she got exactly what she had coming to her. She's making a mountain out of a molehill, but if she's gonna spam the chat all the time, she's gonna piss people off. So, that's what she did. She pissed somebody off and she got what she had coming to her. I spammed Elisa's room to one person. I never spammed Kelly's room last night. Tell the truth. You did. Did I spam Kelly's room or did Ismi, did Ismi go on a hate rage on me? Admit it, Ken. I'm going to trust you. Did Ismi you deserved it. You deserved everything you got. Why? I haven't said a word to him. You I post paragraphs in here. You post the same paragraph over and over. That's spam. And, and that's bullshit. Ken, idiot, in here, I'm talking about last night. Did you watch Kelly's show last night? Yes or no? No, you got exactly what you had coming to you. You just watched it now, Dina. I just watched the whole thing. Every bit of the... You, I watched the moment you come in chat. You were sitting there running your mouth. No, I wasn't. It's I bullshit. You're a fucking fat Did I not say Kelly and Nicole were very Just nice? a few minutes ago, you started chewing her out for nothing. Yeah. She didn't deserve anything. Did you watch last night's show? I just watched it. I just watched every bit of it. I'm not lying. You are lying. Yeah, it's me told you exactly what you needed to hear. From last night, what did I do in Kelly's chat last night that Ismi had the right to do that? Tell me right now. What did I do last night that Ismi had the right to go on? It's, me it's everything you do. No, it's everything you do. All right, fuck you. you it's everything you do, you. Dana. What, give examples, Ken. Ken, unless you put, say, clear examples, I don't think she's going to understand. Can you say exactly what she did that uh, affects you, Ken, or affects people? It's when she gets on here with uh, Born Mush and they have this spam contest. Not here last night, you fucking retard. Last night, what happened last night? Uh, you, what, what you do, do Dina, is you write something, someone else posts something, and then you post three things, and then someone else posts last something, and then you post four. Night. Yes. Last night. You endless what? posts. Yes. You last posted, night. you posted a hundred times more than everybody else in the chat. And I just sat and watched it. I just sat and watched it. I just last watched night. it. Last night I did. Yeah, last night. Last yeah, night. go back and watch it. Have you rewatched it and seen what no. you did? Well, you need to go watch it. No. Fast forward up to when Is Me no, first Ken comes on the camera. Dang. And it, she didn't call me a retard because I am a retard. It don't bother me. No, you're not. You're brilliant. You go back and you start when Is Me first comes on on the show, and you'll come in the room about three minutes later and you start your shit. No, I didn't. Lie. guess what? Alisa's gonna watch it and watch the. I show. watched it. I watched it. I saw what you were doing, and you. The thing is, I'm used to it. You always spam my chat. I, 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 I always see you doing that, but I, I don't really care. I don't know. Off and I'm trying to be nice because I like you. Why will you not admit that last night is me spammed Kelly's chat, not me? And it's spam means me. nothing to me. Hold on, everybody relax. Hold on, I'm sorry, Kelly and, and Ken. Just one second, let me just explain to Lindia. Dina, listen to me. Spam means right. nothing. It's no, no, no. nothing, Dina. Dina, just because somebody Why spams my chat, I don't care. Okay. Why do you Why care? Are you then why are you acting like I spam Kelly's chat and why is Kelly I don't Kelly care that you spam Kelly's chat. I care about the mean things that you're saying to her now. I care about the mean things really? that you're saying How to her you... now. Really? Really? How come you don't care about the mean things she said about me, Elisa? How come you have not one word to say about what she She wasn't as vicious. Not She's not as vicious as you. You're very vicious towards yes. people, Dina.
I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know. What should I do, Chef? Do you have any ideas? Cuckoo. What should I do? Do you think I should cuckoo? So you think I should try and apologize to Dina? Is that what you're saying? Take a Dina and call her the cuckoo boy. You see the baby. So I say bye to Dina? I feel bad. I don't like to say bye to anyone. That's my problem. I always want to keep people around until they really screw me. I mean, she has been mean today, but what do I do? I kind of want to keep her around. I don't know why. I don't know why. She is vicious, though. And, but I don't mind her spamming. The spamming is the least of it. I don't care about spamming. I, I'm used to it. Spamming every day. That's not the problem. The problem is when somebody comes from a really mean uh, place, and she seems angry, and she seems like she was angry from the start, even in Stern Fan Network and all the message boards. She was always like this. So, Kelly, can you explain to me why someone... I, I don't care about the spamming at all. Let me just put that uh, first. I don't care about it. I care about why is Dina so angry at everyone? Why? Because she doesn't have a life. Because I actually, I actually reach out to her, to, you know what I mean? Like, I, I talk to her, she'll write me paragraphs and paragraphs. You know, I'm a very busy person, and she writes me paragraphs and paragraphs just complaining about people, how she's angry at people, how she doesn't like people. She spends hours, hours uh, writing to me about things that don't matter to me, like how much she hates is me, or how much she hates this person, or that person, or Vashir. It doesn't mean anything. It's just like, it's nothing. It means nothing. The paragraphs are empty. They're just, I hate this person. And when she says she hates Ismi, it's not because of Ismi. It's because of her. So we got to figure out the bottom of this. Like, what makes her so angry at people? She is full of hate and she's jealous. Of who? Ismi? Do you think she's jealous? You know what? I did think that. I actually thought she was jealous of Ismi because Ismi, you could tell he's a person that feels beautiful and he feels confident, and he wears pretty dresses, and he, and he takes care of himself. And, and, he I was thinking, and he's loving. And I was thinking that she was jealous of him. I was thinking that. Because I was like, you know what, this guy, he's a guy with confidence. He feels he feels positive. He feels happy. And, and she seems miserable. So, yeah, she would go after someone like that. Oh, I think Kermit's saying something. Yes, Kermit. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, I just, I feel so right. sad. She's just, um. What? It, it really made me sad because, like, she's so – she just – it seems like – like uh, it just seems like yeah, she's about to cry, you know? Like, she she thinks everyone's against her, and that's where she's right, coming Right, we're not. We're not. Let me explain that to everyone that's watching right now. Dina, when she wanted to be part of this world, I was saying, yes, yes, Dina, because I knew who she was from, you know, Bashir and all the other people have told me. So um, I was praying that something would, good would happen to her here and she would get fans and friends and people reaching out there. She could be part of Dissecting the Frog. But she can't get over this hurdle, which is hate. She can't get over the hate hurdle. And we can't help her now because she's left. And it's upsetting. You know, what, what hate it is so, um, you know, it's just encompassing her her whole body. You could tell. And it just, if it's not uh, it's me, it's Vashir. If it's not uh, uh, Kermit and Friends, it's Stern Fan Network. Wherever she goes, she hates. So that has to come from her. So if wherever you go, you get the same thing. And so everyone's picking on you wherever you go. It's you. It's definitely you. It's not everyone else. It's not Kelly. It's not Ismi. It's not Nicole. It's not the message boards. It's you. You're going to those message boards. You keep coming back. So unless you try to change, you have to change. You have to make a change. That's what I'm saying. Kelly, what do you think? You think she should make a change? I don't think she can change. She's very annoying. Well, I—I I mean, that's that, I mean, and that's how she feels. She feels like she's, and that's why it's usually when people are angry, it's not always so obvious how sad they are. You just kind of right. get mad at them. But she, like, God, I can just feel how sad she is. And it's so depress. It's so depressing. Like she just thinks the whole life world is hates. Life sad her. though. The parts of life are sad unless you, you know, turn it around. She's got to turn it around. That's it. She hasn't been able to figure that out yet, you know? A lot of people have, but some people, they just, if, uh, some disappointments, if you have disappointments in life, they get to you, then you give up, and that's what I think Dina's done. 
That's that's a feeling I get, and that's a shame. And we we want to help her with that, Corey. Have you felt like that before, Corey? Hateful. Like what? Like, have you felt very hateful, like, um, like where you're yeah, just mad at everybody? Hate, of course, I've uh, felt hateful. What? I say it's a, just a human trait, a human nature. Of course, I felt hateful. Oh, Corey, did you, you get, Corey? Did you get a haircut? No, it's actually grown out since. I got a haircut a long time ago, about like a month ago. Huh. Your hair looks good. Any boots on? But, um, just I'm trying to get my socks on so I can go to the store here We're here pretty soon. But, um, no, we all feel hateful. We're all human. But, Benji, I'm sorry you're cool and all, but you need to start growing a pair. When you, when you talk, when you talk with the, on this show, <laughs> you're talking like one of the ladies. And I'm sorry, I don't think I could have a What's guy's night out that? with you because it would turn out like I'm hanging out with one of the ladies. And you start all this, this oh, feely and oh, touchy stuff. Oh, blah, blah, blah. dude, come on, you know get over it. You want to kiss Benji now, Corey? You want to kiss him? I said, you I, I kiss said he just starts to grow. I, I said, I don't think I could actually have a guy's night think, out with him. Do you think maybe if you gave him a little kissy, he would feel better? Feely, and I was like, oh, this and that and all these feelings and this. A guy's night out is not about feelings. It's like, we just go out, let's have a good shit good old time, and we just... Shit good time. We just, we'll talk we just, about fucking. Uh, we just, we just break hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> we'll break things and talk about fucking. I never said break things. I said we just break hell. You know, you know, we not go out there and start fights and stuff, but come on, I mean, I mean, like, if, like, if you and I had a guy's night out... We had some beers, played some pool, and Corey. this and that, and you, you'd start in all this. Corey. Well, then there's this and that and this, and then you start off with all these emotions. You're like, dude, Corey. seriously, the guy's night out. We're not having a guy's night out. The girls run around. You don't have to be all Why not, emotional. Benji? Why not have a guy's night out with him? What's that? Have a guy's night out with him. It might okay, be fun. Okay, fine. Corey, come to New York. We'll have a guy's night out. And, uh, okay, <laughs> then pay for my ticket, and I'll be out there. Okay, that just to show you that I I can have a great guys' night out with you. I don't give a fuck. I Corey, I guarantee you. No, no, Corey, I guarantee you, Benji does no, not want to hang out with you. Like, well, I feel bad I'll tell you exactly why. I feel bad for, her. Exactly feel bad for her because me. he hates is me. Oh God, I hate Corey. goddamn Frank. But you know, come on. Corey. Corey, I know why Benji doesn't want to hang out with you. I know why Benji doesn't want to hang out with you. Because he'd probably you start know? crying and he'd um, be crying on my shoulder. And I'd start handing him tissues. Do you can, no, 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 Corey, you know what I want you to figure out? I want, I'm going to give you 20 minutes, or actually, no, I'm going to give you 24 hours. You, you, in 24 hours, I want you to think about why you think, um, figure out why Benji wouldn't want to hang out with you. And if you get the right answer tomorrow, you get a prize, okay? Why he will or won't? Will not. We'll never hang out with you, and you'll never meet him in person unless uh, you want an auto autograph from him. I want you to figure Lisa, that out. Elisa, he just said he'll pay for my ticket. And he no, shows he that he can have a guy. You. you don't even get it. You don't even get it. Corey, no, no, this is a huge challenge for you. I'm going to give you. No, no, I'm going to give you a timer. You figure, out, you figure out why Benji would never, ever hang out with you. You think about it. Think hard. Think hard. Use all your brain power because I know you're a smart said, guy. I never said, Corey, Benji do you want an aisle seat or, or uh, window? Shit, whatever is the Corey? cheapest. No matter to me. Oh, that's nice, Corey. <laughs> and where you're flying out of Portland? Yeah, but I'm not gonna take the um, I'm not gonna take the um, airlines and stuff with all the TSA and the groping and the a no, anal I, probing I, and the raping. And Amtrak. <laughs> Amtrak. Okay, you're scared TSA you're might raping. rape you if you if I fly to New York. Yeah, TA, TSA does rape. I mean, look at all the groping and the anal probing, and they take children aside and anal and molest them and stuff in the private rooms and stuff. And <laughs> well, I I wouldn't want you to get raped. So so, uh, but Amtrak doesn't rape, right? An anal probe? Well, uh, for right now, no. All right. <laughs> I know A A A Z. I know Lisa is mocking me. I I I recognize when someone is mocking me. I'm mad at you, Corey. I'm mad at you, Corey. I don't like what you said. 
This is where I'm supposed like to get all feeling and touching, and I'm so like, sorry. I'm supposed to start crying now. Your best side, Corey, is not this side. It's when you're nice and emotional like oh, Benji. That's when I like that's you. That's, that's the only time I like Corey. Actually, I'm, I'm only human. Side. Us guys do have Corey, an emotion side. There's yes, a reason. We're, we're human. We have, Corey, you're scared as We fuck. have an emotion yeah. side. Corey, you're scared there's as fuck. There's times like, Corey. oh my god, okay, you can have feel sorry for it. Like, Dan, Dan, Danya and stuff. Okay, she has her issues, her problems. I'm not going to feel sorry for her. I get, oh, I feel so sorry, sorry for her. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. She has, she has her Corey. issues, her problems. She's the one has to deal with them. Why should I have to go? Oh, like, oh, I feel so so far sorry no, for her. She's Corey, so angry. You're scared as fuck about being emotional. Yes, that's and, right. And you, don't you know get, my emotional side. You get you don't scared. Know how many oh, no tears one I cry. shows their emotions. Benji, you don't know me. You don't know how many tears I yeah, have cried right. and know. still cry. Don't want to know you because you don't show cry. anything yeah, good. Nice. Hold on, Corey. I, I Corey. Just sit down in the dark with thoughts and things that are going on and other things going on, and I break down and cry, yes. I guarantee I, I, I cry harder in the dark than you. I can I, I can cry harder in the dark than you can. I, well, hey, what, what, is this a pissing contest now that who can cry harder in the dark? Dude, get over well, you're it. You're the one that just claimed that you I'm cry harder in the dark. You, I said, you don't know, I never said, did I say I cry harder than you? I said, you don't know how hard I have cried and do cry. Well, you're not one of those you men that cry harder in the dark than I can. Shows weakness. No, crying is an emotion. Crying is what's we're human, and it helps make you that much more of a woman, or help makes you that much more of a man. And when you cry, you feel that much more pressure off your heart and off your chest, and you do feel better. I'm not okay, I'm sorry. Are right, right, you both cry? We got it. We got it. You both cry. Okay, Kelly. No, if you don't cry, I'm not crying. Even Jesus wept. Well, well, where, where did now who's going to cry harder in the dark? Where did this come to a pissing contest? Hi, Corey. I believe that you cry God, harder. I, I believe that you cry me? harder. I, th I think Corey does cry harder. Okay, we have the other uh, hosts of uh, the wrap-up show, Dissecting the Frog. Uh, welcome, Nicole. And Nicole, who are you with right there? Oh, it's Chad. Hold on one second, Nicole. It's Chad. Yes, Ken. house, and that's why. Hello. Hey, hold on one second. Chad. Hi, Chad. No, he's off he's, now. He's listening. Trust me, he's listening. Okay. But he's listening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Corey, if you're listening, I'm really curious because Sorry, listen. you're talking about the fee share to fly because of all the TSA email probes. But the other day, I swear I thought you said you'd like to get dildos up your butthole. So isn't that like an anal probe? Like you like anal probes, but you don't like anal probes? Or do you sound like government and do say anal probes? I don't know, Corey, you got to address it. Love you, Kelly. Love you, Kelly. Bye. <laughs> All right. Okay. That was sad. Okay. So, wait. Hold on. Here's Nicole. And Nicole, who is this next to you? This is, I'm actually over at a friend's house, oh. and this is her son. For all the, for all the hot single ladies Hi. out there. Hold on. <laughs> that's why I, that's why I couldn't came up earlier to defend um, what happened last night on Dissecting the Frog. Kelly did an amazing job, and that's why after dinner I kind of canned up because I wanted to say that Kelly held her own. I am so proud of Kelly. Aww, thank you. Kelly is my girl. Okay, you know so, how much I, love so I agree. I agree. That's my favorite show. And I second the frog is my favorite show. And 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 so Dina is what? So Dina is. What do we do with Dina? Are you upset with Dina, Nicole? I, you know what? I'm not upset with Dina. She unfriended me on Facebook, and that's fine because she has the right to do that. I just wanted to. I just wanted to say that we were so on top of getting these spammers out of there because that is our mission on that show. That we don't right. want haters on that show. That we're all right. about a positive wrap up, and that if you're gonna say anything that's like kind of harsh, it's supposed to be ball busting. It's funny. supposed to be funny because we can right. take funny comments. That are a little. Bold, but when does it get? Okay? When does it cross the we'll line, Nicole? When does it cross the line for you? First, when you start saying any kind of curse word, when, yeah. when you call Kelly the B word, you call throw throw in a C word. word. All that kind of stuff's not funny to call girls that because you have right. to resort to cursing 
to try to make yourself all look big and bad. No, Kelly can Kelly and I can hold our own with intellectual talk and that we can actually hold our own in a conversation. We don't need to resort to those kind of words. Right. And the anger <laughs> the anger that comes out is very disturbing to me. I, I don't know where this comes from. Even from Corey just now. I feel it. I feel like he's angry at Benji, but it, it makes me think he'd be angry already. So what do we do? How do we move forward? Because you guys are doing this show. I'm doing, you know, my show, and, and we're all in this together now. How do we, you know, rise above the, all this? We rise above by Kelly and I being like Gandhi and turning the other cheek Gandhi. and sticking to our guns and sticking to our mission that we want a positive wrap up of Kermit and Friends. Yes, absolutely. That's it. Okay, that sounds great. That's, Kelly, you think that's possible even with Dina there? Are you going to ban Dina or are you going to give her another chance? I'm not going to ban her. If she, if she calls me names again, I am. Yeah. I didn't hear Kelly. Kelly, no, no, I, I, Kelly just said, um, Kelly just said that she's not going to ban her, but it, it, the thing is, um, I just worry oh, that, okay. like, so you guys can take it, right? You're thick skinned, you can take this, because it's hard, because people will come at you, they will. You're thick skinned, I'm okay. Very thick skinned. But she I was, doesn't spam the chat, and it's annoying. It's annoying when she spams the chat. <laughs> you have nice My, Wait, what's your friend's name right there? What's his name? <laughs> This is Hi, Chris. Chris. He is a pharmacy school pharmacy school student. So any kind of single ladies out there that want a nice professional, all Chris right, is available. That's good to know. Hey, Chris. So message me. Hey, what do you think of uh, Nicole's show? Have you seen it yet? Um, I don't know. I haven't really seen it yet, but. From all the stuff that I've seen today, it was obviously good. a good show. <laughs> I mean, if, if it's if it's catching that much attention, then it's obviously that's right. Worth watching. That's how you could tell that a show's good when you when it comes on this show too. Like you know, when it, the things that happen are so you know, uh, I can't stop thinking about them, and it's it, it's unavoidable to you know we have to talk about it. So, but it brings up really good points. Like it brings up a great point that people are just. I mean, the spam, I understand that you want to keep the spam to a minimum, but for me, the spam doesn't bother me as much as, like, people just being really hateful, like the way Dina was today in her song, and and just cruel, and saying really bad names to Kelly, who has, oh, she only has good intentions, I know that, and so that makes me think that Dina is the one that we all need to reach out to to help, and how do we do that? I'm not sure, like, what do we even say to her? Because I don't want to talk to her about Kelly or Ismi. I want to talk to her about her and why, you know, it offends her so much what everybody else is doing. Well, that's what, like what Kelly was saying. We don't necessarily have to ban her from the show. If we keep being positive and she can see that we don't have to resort to that kind of language and she can see that she can rise above and actually hold a positive attitude, She's welcome to stand, she's welcome to come on the show anytime she wants. That's very yes. nice. <laughs> Is that still true? We always like we always like the positive people that know how to have drinking games to sharpen eight oh three. Well Rainbow's the best at that. Who is Rainbow? Rainbow? Does anybody know? I'm just curious because Rainbow seems like a new person, or maybe he's not. Who's Rainbow? Rainbow's nice all the time. I loved Rainbow, Rainbow last saying? night. Rainbow was my drinking buddy. Positive. Everything like, positive. Like, See? Yeah. See, look, somebody's telling me a shark ate a human drink. Sorry, Reggie, I didn't get that. I am thinking that. See, my aunt. My aunt. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. Apparently, Reggie thought this oh, was really? my boy oh, toy. Funny. But but no. No, no. No, his, his, his mother's right. Oh, right. Right, oh there. hey, wait, wow. right great, right. a whole family. This is awesome. <laughs> um, so, what do you guys think of, like, uh, Corey's? And um, problem with Benji. What do you think of that? Yeah. With Benji. Corey's problem with what? I'm sorry. Benji. I don't even know. I can't even keep track anymore of who's upset with who, but I think Corey hates Benji. That's the feeling I get. Corey doesn't hate 
Corey doesn't hate Corey? Benji. Really? Really? Corey, Corey is just okay. Corey. Corey is honest. Corey. He might be in a, he might be in a mood right now, but he loves everybody. If if anybody saw the wrap up show last night, Corey was loving on everybody because Corey wants to be a positive person too. He doesn't want to be around trolls. Corey doesn't like he doesn't trolls. want to be around people throwing out his personal information. No, he doesn't like trolls. Even though he thought I was trolling him last night. He thought, it was, he thought that I called up the Washington Post and made them put up an article and <laughs> said Stone Cold Steve Austin um, was a positive, uh, he, was, uh, he was a very strong supporter of gay marriage. And I, I was the troll that I called up Washington Post and made them do that. I have a lot of pool, apparently. <laughs> See? They're, they're just saying that I, I'm their kind of woman. Apparently, I have pull. I wonder, I, I like, still, I think, I think the editor of the Washington Post was a Sharknado 3 fan, and he was doing not, the drinking game I'm with us. Me. I think that's, <laughs> don't you think that was it? Totally. I, think, I think the editor was joining in, and he thought, you know what? I'm going to do this, and I'm going to be part of this little you, troll right you here. reach out to Dina, Nicole. Someone should. Actually, you know what? Everyone should. I think everyone should reach out to Dina because Dina is very hurt right now. I know that she's hurt. There's no way that she's in a good mood. It's impossible after what she, you know, the anger that she showed us today. So instead of like, you know, just casting her aside and being, you know, saying, oh, I don't want anything to do with this person. Let's try. We're not going to try forever, but let's try for a little while. Let's try for a little while to see if we can get to Dina and if you could reach out to her, all the fans of Kermit and Friends, if you could reach out to Dina on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere and just say, Dina, we know that you're hurting. We know that you're upset. You hate Ismi, but really it's coming from inside because all these years you've been on these message boards just being mad at, at the world. And it really comes from within. So whatever you're feeling towards someone else, really look at that and decide, you know, is it about them or is it really about me? And most of the time, it's really about, you know, oneself. So uh, let's all think about that and, and let's try to help Dina, reach out to Dina and tell her that we care and that we love her and we want to see her uh, tomorrow and every day on Kermit and Friends. See you tomorrow and please, please, please reach out to Dina because we love her too. Good night.